It is barely a week since what many Namibians thought would be the last update provided by the authorities on the COVID-19 situation in the country. At that same briefing, both President Gengob and Dr. Shangula warned of the escalating second wave of infections and the consequences on human lives and the economy. However, the conduct of Namibians towards the health regulations is what has been under the microscope over the past few days. And this could give realization to President Gengob's threats of tougher measures, making the holiday season out of the ordinary. I'm also not ruling out the chance that I may call emergency meeting and take drastic actions that are locked down if people don't cooperate. We will continue to sing this song until there is evidence of total compliance. Over the past seven days since the adjusted health regulations came into effect, Namibia recorded a total of 2,716 COVID-19 positive cases and 17 deaths. 14 out of the 17 persons suffered from underlying medical conditions with the youngest victim only 25 years of age. 202 cases are admitted in the hospital and 34 of these are fighting for their lives in the intensive care unit. On various occasions, I probed both the head of state and his health minister on the effectiveness of some of the health protocols. I just want to understand, since we are experiencing a second wave of infections, I want to know which areas can you or government declare as hotspots. I know over the past few weeks, um, the figures which you released, I, Thomas and Clara's regions were a bit concerning. So we are in a holiday season, Minister. And for example, you declare Ventuk or Thomas as now the hotspot. Given that it's festive period, people are traveling out of Ventuk and major towns, going to villages and so on. Press ought to appeal to people, as I have said, to obey the rules. When it comes to commerce, there are no specific places where you can say that this is where the concentration of cases are coming from. It's diffusely spread over uh, suburbs. Dr. Shangula usually conducts the briefings alongside the president, expanding on measures announced by him. Wednesday's update is likely to be a health ministry affair, as the minister told NBC News, without divulging much that he is busy with a review. This is apart from the usual, wear your mask, wash your hands and observe physical distancing commands in his speeches. Blanche Corre says for NBC News in Ventuk.